In this video we will discuss, different ways to keep the server healthy. Virtual memory, in other words also called, paging file. As per Microsoft, virtual memory, need to be one and a half times the installed physical memory. Let us first check on the installed physical memory on this server. Right click on computer and select, properties. Installed memory, or, RAM is 1.5 GB. Click, Advanced System Settings. From, System Properties. Advanced tab, Performance. Click Settings. From, Performance Options. Select, Advanced tab. Click, Change. Under Virtual Memory. As you see, Virtual memory is automatically managed by operating system for all drives. If you look under, total paging file for all drives, we see, recommended value is much higher than the, currently allocated value. To manually allocate virtual memory, untick the option, automatically manage paging file for all drives. From, paging file size for each drive, select the drive on which you wish to set the paging file. You have three options or choices to select from. 1. To set, no paging file. 2. To set, system managed size. And 3. Custom size. Let's select custom size and set it in megabytes. Let us calculate how much the virtual memory should be as per Microsoft recommendation. Open calculator. First convert the physical memory from gigabytes to megabytes. Once converted multiply it with 1.5, to get the recommended value. You can set the initial and maximum size the same, or, even different that is, Initial value 1.5 times the installed memory and maximum value twice the amount of installed memory. Ideally if you have large amount of installed memory and the application's usage for the same is less then you can set it to system managed. If otherwise then we need to alter the values of virtual memory to be at least the recommended value. Once values are decided key in, at initial size and maximum size. Once done click, set. Click OK. On the pop-up windows where it says, Reboot of server is needed for the changes to take effect, click OK. Click Apply and OK on Performance Options window. Click OK, to exit the System Properties window. On the Reboot prompt, you can either restart server now or later. Disk Defragmenter Defragmentation is a process that reduces the amount of fragmentation. It reduces data access time and allows storage to be used more efficiently. It does this by physically organizing the contents of the mass storage device used to store files into the smallest number of contiguous region. Defragmentation is a Windows utility and can be accessed by clicking Start. All Programs Accessories System Tools Disk Defragmenter in Disk Defragmenter window. Current status shows that this tool was never run. If you see multiple drives listed, pick the desired one, and, click Analyze Disk for Fragmentation Analysis. Or, Defragment Disk, to start the defragment process. This would take a while and percentage completion can be monitored from, Progress, Column. Let's illustrate defragmentation with an example. You are a field engineer and you maintain a pocket notepad. When you want something to be noted you quickly open the pocket notepad and scribble the information wherever you find free space. Or, you ignore the page which has enough free space and use a new page to scribble data or information. After a while you see the pocket notepad is filling fast and you are losing pages. When the moment come that you need specific information, you had to search multiple pages to find it. You also notice that you have wasted a lot of space as you write information randomly. 
Consider if you write information, page by page then you will have information in less pages and you will also have lot of free pages to write on, for future. Data on hard drive is also written in similar fashion. And defragmentation is the process of locating the non-contiguous fragments of data into which a computer file may be divided as it is stored on a hard disk, and rearranging the fragments and restoring them into fewer fragments or into the whole file, this reduces the amount of fragmentation. This in turn, reduces data access time and allows storage to be used more efficiently. You can schedule the defragmentation process by turning it on. You can select the frequency, day, time, and also select disks on which you wish to perform defragmentation. defragmentation process can also be invoked via command line. Open command prompt and type in defrag help command to view the syntax and available parameters that can be used along with few examples. Let's try it on our available drive. Check disk. Check disk is a system tool in DOS. It verifies the file system integrity of a volume and fixes logical file system errors. It has to be run via command line with administrator privileges. Open command prompt and type in chkdsk help command to view the syntax and available parameters that can be used. Check disk with parameter, F, fixes errors on the disk. Please note, check disk will unmount the drive or volume to perform needed operation. The drive or volume will not be available until the check disk operations complete. So please schedule down time before proceed. You also need to note that the larger the volume size the longer time it will take to complete. If you run check disk on root volume then it will ask you to schedule it during next reboot as it won't be able to take the root volume offline because it's already in use. Type Y to schedule it. Or type N to cancel the operation. It is recommended to run check disk once in a while. I propose, it's best to do in quarter or half year. This operation can also be scheduled to run using batch scripts and task scheduler. 10 files clean up. Temporary files do consume a lot of disk space on the server and might also impact the performance of server and applications. Click start. Run. Type temp and click OK. This will take you to Windows operating system, temp file location. Click start. Run. Type percentage temp percentage and click OK. This will take you to user profile, temp file location. I have created a batch script to delete the temporary files from the two locations.
you can manually delete it if you want. The batch script shows it is going to delete temporary files from Windows Temp, User Profile Temp, and Internet Explorer Browser Temporary Files. Run the batch file as administrator. As it run you can verify from the temporary location if the files are being deleted or not. It is best to schedule the cleanup of the temporary files after user logon using Task Scheduler. You will now see how it can be done. free space on disk drives or volumes. Microsoft recommends keeping minimum 10% or more free space on every disk drive or volume, connected to the server. If the free space goes low then the system performance will drop. This is especially applicable to operating system drive. C. Almost all applications by default get installed on drive. C. Unless installation path changed during install process. Majority of applications use their install patch location as caching location and some applications do have temp folder created under their install path. Users are unsure about this. Please note, operating system itself needs some free disk space to run smoothly. On top of it, page file or virtual memory if configured to be managed by system keeps altering the virtual memory space usage on the drive. Identify and remove unwanted applications. To identify unwanted applications, right click on task bar and select task manager. The bottom pane shows summary of number of processing running, CPU usage and physical memory usage. From Windows task manager, click processes tab. Ensure, show processes from all users, box is checked. You can sort the list either by any of the column fields. Let us sort it using image name. Browse through the list and identify the process which you think is not needed. For example juiced.hex which is Java scheduler. Right click and select go to service or services. This would take you to services tab. If relevant service is highlighted then you can right click and stop service. If relevant service is not displayed here then you need to check if the application does create a service, if not, then you need to uninstall it, if yes, then you can look for it under services management console. Right click computer, and select manage. From server manager select services located under configuration. Here you will see all installed services on the server.
right click on unwanted service select stop service to stop it and if you want to stop it for good select properties from general tab under startup type you can select manual or disabled pick an option and click apply and ok to confirm the action To uninstall applications from server open programs and features. Select the program and click uninstall. Follow on screen instructions to uninstall the program from the server. 